Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jose, the California Beekeeper. We are up at Lassen again. Got the family here. We are going to slap some pollen patties today. And I know we already put some pollen patties last week, but they go through those pollen patties, especially in the smoky conditions. They will eat it up and they need it. So we're going to go slap on some more. Uh, we're going to use a different product in this video and we'll show you what we're doing. Check it out. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hey, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up on this video. Go check us out on Instagram and Facebook at the California Beekeeper. gonna set up this our table here uh, you can pick anything you could work off your flatbed but we do not want to put a bunch of sugar and pollen patty on our flatbed so we brought this table out and Kelly's gonna be cutting some pollen patties into about two to three pound blocks and we'll put it right in the center of um, the double deeps in the brood chamber and just give them another um, round of pollen so so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pour a bunch of sugar and our 50 pound block of Nutribee. That's what we're using as our sub. I think it was maybe a week ago, we threw in some Date Amp Brood Builder. And if depending on what it looks like, that will depend on how much we're gonna give them of the Nutribee. So if they ate all that Brood Builder, one pound patty, we'll slap on a two to three pound block of patty in between the, the double deeps right in the middle of the food chamber so we will show you um, a little tip when you're putting these these patties get a nice little spatula you know they sell these nice double bladed uh, knives or double handled knives that it work great to cut in the pollen patties but Cheap alternative is a nice uh, plaster taping knife, 10 inch, goes all the way across the, the pollen black, pollen block. Here it is, just regular sugar. Um, normally we'd use dry vert sugar, but they were back ordered, and cane sugar works perfect. So you just dump it right here, like so. And then you put your face in it. Just you just spread it out like so. Don't put it on the crack, huh? Yesterday what I did is I gave it a little squirt of water so my sugar wasn't falling off. But we'll just keep it on one side this time. Go. Open these, get one party in three bees. Excellent, excellent. That's so what Max was saying was that we are going to give the bees some of this pollen patty and feed it to them. Let's do it. And this is what it looks like. This is some good stuff, premium pollen sub. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with the Nutribee, um, it is a product of Keith Jarrett out of California, so it's great stuff. Um, how I do it is I'll just coat my block like so, and we need to get the parchment paper, wax paper. That way, when you have your patties cut, 
so we don't have a scale but roughly you know that would be a two pound block right there about, a, about an inch inch and a half would be about that two pound patty um, it's actually good stuff I don't know if you guys have tried this but And if I forget my lunch, I guess I'll eat some Fallen Patties. So. I prefer the Reynolds brand because when it comes to the bees chewing through the wax, they seem to do it a whole lot better with the wax paper rather than the parchment paper. The parchment paper, they really don't mess with it too much, but they still will get through it. But this here, they just seem to chew at it, chew at it, and when it's in the in the hive and we'll show you here in a little bit in the video we will press it down and it'll rip here and there that's okay if it rips it's fine so the purpose of wax paper is with the softer pollen sub it's pretty soft so here in California we get these hundred degree weathers and these tend to kind of melt especially with the warmth and the heat um, the bees generate it seems to just melt right down to that bottom board. That's what we don't want them. We want them to have time to be able to chew it up, store it, and get the most of it. So it's pretty important to always put your wax paper before placing your patties. look see what they've done with the last pollen patty that we slapped in exactly a week ago gone look at that excellent just cracked open a couple weeks back we did a video where this one got a uh, virgin queen um, we'll see if they eat up all the pollen. This one. Oh look. Look at that. That's all that's left out of a one pound patty. And that's that date amp brood builder. Take a quick peek to make sure this one here mated. I'm not sure if I shared that with you guys last time. Let's take a quick look. Look at all that pollen. That is a lot of pollen. You could even see they're still bringing it in here up in the Lassen Park area. So we just want to make sure that this is a queen right colony and that that virgin went on her flight. A lot of larvae there. Let's see if we can find uh, somewhat some sealed stuff. So she is mated, that virgin. Here's a, there she is actually. This is probably a old cell cup. Success, our virgin queen mated. We'll give this one some more, uh, maybe a thicker block of pollen. Give her that, give the bees a little boost to stimulate that queen and we'll drop a can on top in order to just kind of replicate what a nectar flow is and it gets that queen just laying. So pollen sub, can on top, Thinned out syrup works best.
really surprised to see that even though they are bringing in so much pollen, that they'll still just put away and chew up, eat up, whatever it is that they're doing uh, with that one pound in, in a week. So it's pretty amazing what the bees can do. If you give them some good supplement, they'll take it down like that. So that's always a good sign when your bees are eating up all the, uh, all the pollen and then they kick out what they don't need which is some of that leftover wax paper. You can see it in some of these entrances. That's just another trait that they have, the hygienic behavior. What doesn't belong in the hive, they push it out. And that's always good. So I'll show you guys how I like to apply it. Give them a little smoke, just so you don't squish any bees on here on the top. And make sure your patty and your wax paper right there in the center, flip it over, and I will just push it down. That way, that way when you have your box back on top, there is no gaps. You want your boxes to sit nice and square and flat. So, I mean, bees don't like the breeze coming in and you don't want any any other bugs getting into your pollen patties. Yeah. Place it right on top, like so. And give it a good push down. It's your body weight. I'm pretty, I'm a big fella, so that's 200 pounds of, of raw muscle. So, <laughs> and that is just how we apply our Nutri-B pollen patties. We really like those patties and you know, go check them out. Uh, Keep Jarrett, Nutra B, uh, based out of California. So, you're just not sure how much pollen can my bees take. Well, really, there's never enough pollen in the fall. In the fall, you want them to be able to pack that stuff away because that's going to be their resources over winter. So, there is absolutely nothing in the winter. And if you are in areas where it's extremely cold or it's raining, just most part of the year of the season in the winter it is always good to make sure that they have it packed in right now in the late summer early fall because they're still be they're still able to go work out any resources or any uh, forage that is out there this is just a bonus so we won't give them any less than a pound so a pound that's a good starting point uh, a hive can take up to mm -hmm. You know, I've heard guys um, slap on five pounds immediately. That way they don't, they don't like to go back to them. You know what? I don't mind going back to them because I know, I've noticed that when you slap on those big patties, sometimes the bees will just suck up that corn syrup or whatever syrup they, they use to mix up that sub, that, that pollen sub. They'll suck it up and then you're left over with just this dry, crumbly looking pollen. Uh, similar to just dry dirt. So that's why it's pretty important to us by giving them a smaller amount of patty that they're able to work it, store it, and we come back and we'll give them some more if need be. We'll come back um, here maybe in two weeks now since we are going to give them two to three pounds. Last week, one pound. This week, so we're going to be up to four pounds of pollen sub on the hive. And by the end of our fall season, these hives will probably already take in about um, close to six pounds of pollen. And now I would say that would be about an average amount of pollen if you want your bees to plug up in order for them to winter well. It's pretty standard to put pollen sub. It doesn't matter what part of the country you are in. Um, it's important that you give them pollen sub. If you want your bees to make it through the winter healthy, and still have that queen laying as much pollen as possible. Um, I mean, don't give them, uh, you know, 20, 30 pounds, but you know, up to 10 pounds, hey, that's great. I've heard a lot of guys here in California, we're so dry. Um, some of these guys do put 10 to 15 pounds. Um, you know, we're pretty fortunate that we don't need to do that. About five to six pounds, 
before before the winter is ideal. And, uh, and you could always just crack open your hive and just take a look, see what kind of pollen stores they already have, and then make that decision on how much you want to give them. When we brought these up, these were singles. Look at that. Singles started off from a cell. So, looking pretty good. Pretty happy. On our last video that we dropped, we gave these hives a little boost by introducing a brood frame um, into these weaker colonies. Just wanted to show you guys what they look like now. Now they are doubled. Last week we ended up putting another pollen patty. We're gonna put some more pollen and just let them crank out. And we're gonna pop them open and see what they look like. Uh, we're just cracking both open right now. Working that top box now. Finishing up their pollen patty. Now they're not as strong as we would like but they will build out. We still have time to get these girls plugged out. And the thing that you have to do that's pretty important is to make sure that you're supplementing your bees with enough pollen, sugar water, or syrup. So, looking pretty good. And in order for them to really pack it in, I like to crank the feed into the inside feeders and if I have enough um, feed I'll put one on top as well. So we'll fill that feeder up all the way. Bring in another pollen patty. Nice fat patty right there. Smush that in. Give it some... You have to smash this pollen patty like you smash that subscribe button you know <laughs> so we'll close it up they're working it I'll show you guys here at the top I'm sure you guys have seen some of this wax moth I was in a hurry but they're all dead but just show you by giving them that little boost they are cranking the feed, cranking the pollen sub. They're working on their stores for the winter now. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Let's scrape some of this wax moss. And we'll close it up like so. Check out this other hive. Here's the other hive. That one's looking so much better. Look at that. Got that going. Pollen, eating it up. Go ahead and crank the feed in this one as well. So you know, like I said it before, if you give the if you give these girls what they need, and you give them enough of it, pollen feed, they will produce. You got some good quality queens. You're gonna get performance like this. So it's all about sometimes you just give them a little help by that one frame of brood. You know, it just makes that queen want to just lay and lay and lay. So yeah, looking good. These ones will definitely go into almonds. Um, she's gonna keep laying, especially with this two, three pound slab of good pollen made in the US of A. Look at that. Don't forget to smash. Close it up. Look at that. A lot of foundation. 
no big deal. We are gonna get that drawn out. Cute, we'll see. Close it up, and that's a wrap. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We took the family, we did, knocked it out, and we're done. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up. Thanks a lot, guys.